This review may contain spoilers for the Attack on Titan anime and manga. Thank you. What? What the din is that? I'm fairly certain it's a Titan. A what? Giant hungry humanoid thing, hungry for us tiny humanoid things. Do we have to worry about something like that? As long as the wall holds and the geometry detection doesn't get weird, we should be okay. Oh shit! Attack on Titan is a manga and anime series centered on the youth of our future fighting a war against titans, which are these giant hungry hungry humanoids. A war they happened to turn the tide of as soon as they got involved. It has a rather shocking amount of body horror, blood, and gore that we will not show here in too great of detail. Due to the phenomenon the series is, even having an entire committee dedicated to its production, it is justifiably popular. This epic tale of breaking your bonds, defying your destiny, and Bryce Pappenbrook being perfect for the role of Aaron Yeager- <laughs> came to a hiatus recently with the final episode of part two of its final season. That's not confusing at all. The final season's part two's final episode. Mm-hmm. You got it. And part three doesn't start until 2023. You're not selling me on the series, James. With the hiatus, many Attack on Titan fans are looking for outlets to get the Titanic fix the show can no longer give us. That sweet, sweet morsel of gratifying body horror mixed with some of the best writing and screaming in any anime ever. Well, friends, I may have found the answer. Doing anything else with your life? Kind of. Attack on Titan forever because that's how long we'll have to wait for the series to end. Forever. Anyway, this is a fan game made by a small team, available now on itch.io, where you take on the role of any of these several characters from AOT fame. Anyone from Aaron Yeager to Marco Bot. Everyone knows how impactful a character Marco was. Each character even has different stats. Just pretend he's someone else. All the characters are so small, their identifying traits are kind of lost among the parallax backgrounds, giant trees, also tiny horses, and colossal titans. While this fan game does follow some of the story beats of the series, the main focus is on titan slaying through rather simple means. After a short tutorial where Shadas yells directions at you, he'll tell you to go out and fuck some titans. What? Up. Bad time to pause. Tell that to Shadas. Pardon me, I was going to go along with this dumb bit James wrote, but I was positively captivated by your eyes, sir. Those are some sunken ocular marvels. Do you sleep? Do you do anything besides stand and stare at people? <laughs> Excuse me. Be aware, you can use a gamepad to play this game, but I opted for keyboard controls because the mouse is used to aim weapons, your ODM hooks, and can even move the camera slightly. Use A and D to move left and right, S to slide and ride horses, space to jump, and left click to attack. Right click will fire your ODM gear hooks into things. The scroll wheel on your mouse will let you scroll through weapons, and if clicked will let you scroll through the characters you can use. Start with your favorites or pick the ones you like the least to die first. Shadows will then send you off into the world to fight the titans. They'll appear as red dots on the map at the top of the screen while you are the blue dot. White blocks indicate walls or where walls once stood. As titans draw close, the only things that prevent them from moving forward are walls. Once those are gone, they'll relentlessly pursue you. There's even a helpful wave and kill counter on the top left. While I am not a graceful angel with the ODM gear, it does have a certain level of excitement with zipping through the environments from trees to buildings to titans. Your only goal is to zip around the titans and slice their napes. Their heads will pop off, blood will spill everywhere, and you'll get another kill added to your counter. It's a bit hard to control at times, but as long as you have a belief in your skills, and a little luck, you can get a good kill in. As you improve your titan dismembering abilities in each round, greater numbers of titans will be introduced, the battlefield will open up to further walls, and the danger increases further. It gets a little overwhelming very quickly because you are this speck on screen and the field is growing ever more vast. As you play, you may also notice some of the, uh, unrefined qualities that make this game truly unique, such as the titans themselves. While they may only share a few differences between each other, they all have their own special way of approaching and attempting to eat you. Some will dash at you way faster than you can run, some will turn unexpectedly and consume you, some will execute a united front to enact their undeniable will of insatiable hunger upon you. Some will reach straight through the ground, scare for Roar's wind right out of you, and eat you out of spite. While Thunder Spears won't save your life in every case, using these in your final moments will ensure the next character you pick may not have to face this incredible danger after others have failed. Watching the move toward you is sometimes an actual marvel of programming that I almost hope it's never fixed, and never made to feel more threatening than it is. While it may frustrate players to be blindsided by a titan they couldn't see coming, or that surprised you after it popped through a wall with no health bar, I have to admit, it's absolutely hilarious. No matter the condition of any of the walls protecting humanity from the titans, after several rounds, Shades will call you back to the inner wall and your second challenge will begin, doing 
everything you've been doing, but in close quarters with many more titans, less time to think, and more body crunching noises than you were prepared to hear. Clearing this short challenge will cause the character you have selected to proudly proclaim, let's go to the ocean! And then you do, through one final wave of titans. As soon as you get to the furthest point to the right side of the battlefield, the game will end by saying you're free, in single quotes. Hang on, why is that in any measure of quotes? Are we not free? I left a titan-infested landmass where I was surrounded by danger to find the ocean, an infinite mass of liquid and safety. Right? Right? Huh, feels like something's rumbling. Oh, incoming ocean steam storm. Good thing I put on steam screen before I came out here. Attack on Titan Forever is extremely entertaining. The strange movements of the Titan and the fact they'll break every bone in their bodies to consume you just adds to the charm of this game. This wouldn't be what it is without the janky physics, strange collisions, short attention spans, and sudden surprises hidden throughout. You don't know when a wall will fall, and the strange person from the sky can suddenly become a Titan. It's even great for multiple replays. The Forever part of the title fits so well here because it's just as fun to fumble your way through your first playthrough as it is to majestically soar and slice through your fourth playthrough. Any portion of this game that would require work fits just as well as the more refined pieces. I highly recommend giving this game a try. You can find the link to it in the description. Thank you for watching our review of this fan game. Check it and be sure to follow us for more good stuff. Share this review around too so others stuck with nothing Attack on Titan to do until 2023 can scratch that itch. Alright, be patient and take up more hobbies than sitting and waiting. See you soon. Ugh.